Alright, so I have an old Toro 824 snowblower. I replaced the carburetor on it the other day and I wanted to explain to you how to adjust the idle on your carburetor. Um, if you have you know, a snowblower, you replace the carburetor or you're out there and it starts surging and uh, the idle needs to be adjusted on the carburetor. The idle screw is right there. You can see it down in between. Uh, it takes a flathead screwdriver and this one was preset when I got it um, through the mail. And I bolted it all up and let the machine warm up and it started to surge up and down a little bit. So I wanted to smoothen the machine out. <clears throat> so I'm going to explain to you what I did because this machine is so loud when it's running that you couldn't possibly hear me explain it to you. When the machine's running, uh, the choke is all the way off and it's all warmed up. It's running for a while. If uh, it's got a little bit of a surge to it or a lobe and you want to smoothen out the idle. Um, originally the screw, the notch was up and down. So you want to see what position it's in. It makes very, very small adjustments. You basically just put a screw flathead screwdriver in there if it's a flathead. And you're going to want to turn a little bit like that at a time and listen to the idle of the machine. And when it starts to, to um, stop you know, idling up and down or surging, then you should be all set. You can take the screwdriver back out and it should be set and you shouldn't have to touch it again. Um, you know, you can try to go to the right. If it doesn't smooth out to the idle to the right, you know, make sure you go back to the same position you started in on the screw. Uh, like I said, make note of that before you even begin to do this. And then go to the left. On this machine, I had to go to the left. And uh, that, that smoothened out the idle. And that idle's really good now. It purrs like a kitten. It's a 25-year-old snowblower. Uh, it's really cold out here today, so <laughs> we got a storm coming tomorrow. But I um, just wanted to show you how to do that and how to adjust the carburetor on your snowblower. And subscribe to my channel because we definitely come out with some great snowblower videos and how to fix stuff around your house.